Okay, a video game markup. What word do you see at the end of that? Up. Uh, that means that this is going to be something where we're figuring it out and then we're adding it to something. A markup means I have a base price and then they're marking it up and that's where they get their profit. That's how stores work. They buy things low and then they sell them for higher than they paid and then they use the money that they get from you to pay for what they purchased, pay for their employees, and whatever's left over is their profit. That's how businesses work. So we're looking at this video game store. Games Galore Superstore buys the latest video game at a wholesale price of $30. Wholesale means that's the price that they have to pay as the store. The markup rate at Games Galore Superstore is 40%. Use your allowance to purchase the game at the store. How much will you pay, not including tax? So what's their base price? $30. At the end, we're gonna be adding $30 to whatever we figure out is the 40% mark up. So we're doing 40% of 30. 40% of 30. So we're going to write this as a proportion. 40 over 100 is equal to, is the 30 the part of the whole? It's the whole price that they paid, isn't it? We need to know what 40% of it is so we know what the markup is. How are we going to solve that? 40 times 30 divided by 100, which we could almost do in our heads. 40 times 30, 1,200 divided by 100. What's the markup? 12. How much total are we going to be paying? 42 what? Yes. All right, so let's go back through the question because we actually kind of jumped ahead and solved it. Write an equation to find the price of the game. Is this the equation right here? Yeah. Okay, how would we explain this? You could simply say that this is the part over what? The whole. And this is the percent over, what's the whole of a percent? 100. That could be your explanation. And then it tells us, you could explain it in words, or you could just show the part-whole relationship that we've been using. Then we're going to solve the equation. Well, how did we solve this equation? We did 40 times 30 is equal to 100 times x, right? And what did we find in our calculator? 1,200 is equal to 100 times x, and we divided by 100, and what did we get? 12. So x equals 12. What was the total markup of the video game? The total markup is $12. Did it ask for the total price yet? No. And why is $12 the markup? Because it is Let's go back to what we first wrote up here. What were we trying to find? 40% of $12, it is 40% of 30. Let's read this last question. You and a friend are discussing markup rate. He says an easier way to find the total markup is by multiplying the wholesale price of 30 by 40%. Do you agree with him? How would you multiply 40% in a calculator? If I'm going to multiply $30 by 40%, let's get back to some of your what do we already know? Wow, that's hard to see. 
We know that fractions and decimals are related. What is the decimal for 40%? Mm -hmm. We would write this as 0.4. How can we check that in our calculator? What's the fraction for 40%? 40 over what? 40. 40 divided by 100 will give you the decimal. And then can I multiply that by 30? Look what the answer popped up as. It does work. So do we agree with him? Why do we agree with him? Because we tried it and it worked. But what did we really multiply? We multiplied 30 times 0 0.4. It did equal 12. Let's turn the page and do our second example. Oh boy, Black Friday, what does that make you think of? Shopping. Sales and shopping. Okay, <clears throat> here we go with our Black Friday problem. A $300 mountain bike is discounted by 30% and then discounted an additional 10%. This is a little bit confusing and consumers think, oh, well, that means it's 40% off because 30 plus 10 is 40. But is that true? No. First it says it's discounted how much? And then 10% of the sale price. So we have to do two steps here to find it. As soon as we see the word discount, we know that the price is going down. So we're going to have our $300 bike, and instead of adding to it, we're going to do what? Subtract from it. We're going to find the sales price of the bike. So the first discount is how much? 30%. 30%. The whole price is 300 So what are we setting up? 30 over what? is equal to, we don't know the 30% of 300. We're going to cross multiply. 30 times 300 divided by 100 and we get how much off? $90. Three hundred minus ninety would be what? Two hundred and ten. And then it's discounted by how much more? We have to find ten percent of this because this is where the ten percent is coming off of. So we have to set up a second proportion, and this time our whole isn't going to be three hundred; it's going to be two hundred and ten. And what's our second percent? 10 over 100 is equal to x over 210. And what are we subtracting? $21. So this is our 30% off. This is our additional 10% off. 210 minus 21 gives us $189 for the bike. So we figured out the sales price of the bicycle, which is what this question asks. It took us a few steps to do that. And over here, I was kind of setting up like what a, re a store receipt might look like, right? It starts off with the full price, takes off the first discount, takes off the second discount. This is our total before sales tax. Notice our problem isn't dealing with sales tax. We'll pretend our sale is in Oregon. They have no sales tax. I bought my laptop there last summer on my way through. Saved a little bit of money there. All right. In all, by how much has the bicycle been discounted in dollars? 
What information do we need to combine to find this answer? This one and, or we could take 300 and subtract the 189, and that's going to give us what the total discount was, right? So we're going to clear one more time, and I've got 90 plus 21. What does that give us? In all, it was discounted $111. Could you explain that? There's a couple of different ways to find that. After both discounts were taken, what was the total percent discount? Ooh, it's not 40%. This is tricky. What we're being asked for is the total percent. This time, our X goes over the 100, because do we know our total percent? No. What we know is that $111 was taken off, of 300. And let's cross off that last question. Okay?